All right, so before this actual video starts, I added something else to my rig, uh, which a lot of you guys wanted, uh, which is second layers. So I didn't go over that in this just because this was recorded earlier, and uh, yeah, so uh, second layers are now in the rig. Um, all you have to do is just go into the rig, and then right here you'll find a second layers uh, under main options, and then you can just click these on, and then if your skin has a second layer, then they'll appear. Uh, you can kind of see like this outline right here. Um, for the rig uh, and everything it's uh, that's the second layer so yeah a lot of you guys wanted this so uh, yeah it's finally here and I hope you guys do enjoy it um, it's fully extrudable and everything um, I just wanted to kind of throw that in uh, so yeah hello everyone my name is Feeble and welcome to the uh, AFMR 1.6 uh, tutorial video so there's a lot of things I changed in this video or in this uh, tutorial or in this rig, I guess. Sorry, um, including Alex arms, uh, lower eyes, um, and just kind of smoothed everything out, I guess, and made it all like a lot better. So it's just pretty much the same setup. Uh, you just open the rig like this, and there's a couple uh, design things that you can probably see right off the bat. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna go into the assets, uh, which is where the Alex arms now are. And uh, there's a new Minecraft Lightroom, which I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce the guy's name, but I will make sure to put somewhere on the screen uh, his Twitter handle so you guys can go check him out. He does, he's working on like a lot of Lightrooms right now and they all look really, really good. This is just my favorite. Uh, and I asked him if I could put it into my rig as an asset and he said sure. So uh, yeah, it's here. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go over is uh, the design changes. Um, so first of all, the uh, key switch. I updated the key switch, it looks a lot better now and I love the design of this. Uh, it's more kind of in your face so you need to press Q on this, so uh, yeah. So again, all you gotta do is just click it, press Q, and uh, yeah, same thing, it's just kind of borders are different uh, and all that stuff. And But I'll go over, um, there's a new uh, slider there and I'll go over that a bit later. Next thing is the uh, the base. I changed the base. This isn't something that's really important. It's just a visual kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I just like the look of this new one. Uh, it's just rectangle and simple and still keeps that blocky feel. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to go over is how to add Alex Arms just because a lot of you guys requested it and a lot of you guys wanted it. Uh, I'm just kind of warning you guys, this is kind of a complicated process, but if you watch this enough and kind of understand how to do it, then you'll get the hang of how to do it and uh, you can be quick at it. <laughs> so, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to come over to your layers and make sure you unlock the AFMR mesh. It's the uh, purple one. Uh, you just want to click that little lock layer right there and it will uh, become unlocked. And then you can go back to your attributes and yeah. All right, so now we're going to go into the content browser assets and you just want to double click the Alex arms and uh, there they are. So there's a couple things we need to do to, uh, I guess, set these up. Uh, so if you notice right off the bat, these won't uh, be adapted um, so uh, yeah you kind of need to do a little bit of a setup for them but it's I made it as easy as I possibly could to uh, set them up uh, so let's get into that okay so you're gonna get this new thing uh, it's called Alex arms change skin here so you're gonna get this uh, null if you just click on the null that's where you're gonna change the skin just for the Alex arms uh, you just click those three little dots and it will uh, change you can change the texture path uh, for the Alex arms so if you have slim arms then then you would uh, want to, I guess, put those on. Next thing you have is uh, both the meshes, and then you have um, some deformers right here, and these are going to become really important to uh, adding them. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to open this up by clicking this little plus, and then you want to open up the uh, mesh, and then open up the arm R and the arm L, and then they're color-coded according to the uh, controller, so uh, just made it really simple. All right, so now all you want to do is just drag the uh, the um, the name, or I guess the arm rather, underneath its uh, parent. Uh, so this is the Alex arm R. So you want to drag that underneath the M dot R, and then uh, the same goes for the other one. Okay, so here's where it kind of gets a little bit confusing. Uh, so what you want to do is I added these little tags right here to um, the uh, the main, I guess, uh, parent uh, null of everything. So you just want to double click this uh, for the arm R if you're doing this first and you're going to see this is kind of looking a little bit confusing. Uh, don't worry, I made sure to uh, color code what you need to change so these green boxes is, are the only ones you need to change. Uh, so what you're going to do is for the A.FFD underneath the um, 
the arm according to whatever one you're, I guess, changing. Uh, you want to drag in this little tag right here. So this tag basically is um, the bend deformers, I guess. <laughs> so you just want to drag these one, this uh, d this tag into uh, these two green boxes right here. And then you just want to drag this A dot bend into uh, this right here. So I'm just going to do that for the other arm real quick. Uh, so it's just the same thing. Uh, just make sure that you go into the arm L and do it through there. So just drag the uh, this little tag right here to both of these top ones and then the A dot bend into the ID bend uh, and then they should switch. Okay, so you're gonna see now that when you move the arm, they do, uh, it does bend. Um, it's just you need to do uh, something else, <laughs> uh, which is you need to go into the rig and you wanna go into main options and there's a new thing right here that says, uh, watch the update 1.6 video to understand how to use these, which you're watching right now. Uh, so I got that part down. <laughs> Uh, but you want to switch Alex Arms to on or to enabled, and then you want to come into customization and turn right arm off and left arm off, and uh, yeah, there you go. There is your Alex Arms. Uh, so these will uh, bend according to uh, what you do. Um, everything is pretty much set up from there, and then you can use like the wrists uh, and everything. I don't really recommend using the fingers just because they're um, they're not mapped out properly to the uh, Alex Arms. So I don't really recommend using these. Um, so just kind of leave those off. <laughs> uh, and then, but yeah, so you have the, the Alex arms and the wrist works. Uh, and then they both will do what you want them to do. So you might have noticed this little gap right here uh, for if you have the deformers on. So what you want to do is you just want to click this uh, the base and then the shoulder. And then you just want to move it to the uh, kind of to where you think it looks best and then of course do that to the other side too and there you go so now you can uh, move the body just like that you can move the the waist and everything is already uh, mapped out perfectly so uh, yeah that's how you add the Alex arms and these also do work uh, for extruding so if you want to uh, extrude them they do work like that um, really easily and uh, you can also add return on subdivisions and it will uh, turn on the subdivisions so uh, that'll give you more of a uh, smoother bend I guess <laughs> uh, it's a little bit buggy but um, well not really buggy it's just I don't know <laughs> uh, I don't know okay so now the Alex arms are on um, and now I'm gonna go over I guess the rest of the uh, features um, so the first or the next thing I guess is f uh, the low eyes so this is recommended a little bit not too many people like really cared about it um, but there were people that did want it so uh, yeah it's here um, so if you remember I added this slider um, which is the uh, it lowers the eyes but there's a clipping issue and um, I didn't really think that that could be fixed uh, but I figured out a way to do it so uh, yeah it's it's just slider right here and if you just move that over you can see that the eyes will get really low and if you really want them even lower you can uh, bring them to like right there uh, so yeah if you have a female skin or you just have a skin that has really low eyes uh, that's how you do it um, only problem with this is it will kind of keep the um, the controllers where they were uh, but this doesn't really um, change anything it's just they're just in a different location uh, and then of course when you move it back they will be where they were so yeah, just a little kind of weird thing, um, but yeah. One thing I also kind of want to mention before I move on to the next thing is uh, the mouth. So I know the mouth can uh, maybe look weird in some renders, and if you, do, if you don't want the mouth, I guess, there's a way to get rid of it. Um, it's a little complicated, um, but uh, again, just follow the steps. Uh, so yeah, first of all, make sure that you have the mesh layer unlocked. Click on the head, and then when you get this, it kind of looks uh, weird and scary. <laughs> uh, but you want to press U L on your keyboard, and then that'll give you like a loop selection. You want to select this, uh, these two outer la layers, and then you want to select these inner layers right here. So once you have that, you want to press M R, and then hold Control, or if you're on a Mac, you want to press and hold Command, and click and drag to the right, uh, and then you just need to 
drag for about two seconds and then you'll be good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then when you turn this on, uh, you'll see that you still have the mouth and what you would have to do is uh, turn the head smoothness down and there you go. Now the eyes are all round and they look good. Uh, and there's not a mouth. I mean, you can still kind of see it, but it's not noticeable when you're kind of from a distance uh, or rendering it out. So, yeah. Um, that's how you make the eyes lower. And if you don't like that, then you can bring them back up. Um, and this will still be like this. It'll just be really rigid. <laughs> um, but yeah. Next thing I want to go over is uh, how everything is laid out. So uh, first being the mesh, which we kind of went over already. Um, I made this all really uh, simple and I hid the deformers so you shouldn't really have a problem uh, adding stuff if you want to. Um, so it's just really easy. Uh, second thing is the joints. Uh, and I color coded each of these uh, controllers and hid the bones just so you don't have to twirl down a bunch of things. Um, and then you can just easily get to the arms if you want to uh, do something. Well, not particularly like that, but uh, if you want to have it so that when you move this, it will move the entire arm, uh, or you can rotate it. Uh, I made it a lot easier to do that, so um, yeah. Uh, just overall a nice um, design change, I guess. <laughs> um, and it just looks a lot more pleasing, I guess. All right, so the last thing is the uh, the Lightroom. Uh, so not really anything like too, too special about this. It's just a Minecrafty Lightroom that looks like um, Blue Monkey animations. Um, if you want to get that kind of effect. Um, so yeah, when you like enable subdivisions, this, this Lightroom looks really good. So yeah, so you have this uh, Lightroom. It looks, um, again, like Blue Monkey Animations. It was made by, uh, again, I don't really remember or know how to pronounce his name, but uh, I'll make sure to link him in the description to his Twitter. Uh, he does a lot of cool stuff with rigs and lighting effects and everything, so I'd recommend that you check him out. Um, it's pretty fun to watch his, or like look at his stuff. But uh, yeah, so this is a cool Lightroom, and I was um, lucky enough to add it into my rig. So hopefully you guys can enjoy this too. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all later. Peace.